another beautiful day here at Lake Piru. Let me turn around so you can see. Mm -hmm. Don't really get a good sense of what it's like. Let's turn the camera on. <clears throat> there we go. So I was thinking, or not thinking, but I was realizing this past September, look at that. Little boat slips and stuff. So pretty out here. So pretty. Um, so I was uh, realizing that this past September is three years that I've been on the road in my camper. I started out in Pennsylvania, um, September of 2016, and I'm here at Lake Piru, October of 2019. Um, I know I promised this the first year, I think, that I was gonna make like a sizzle reel with all the highlights or whatever. I wanna do that again, but I just never have the time or the patience because I've lost a lot of my footage when uh, a couple of my hard drives crashed. <clears throat> so um, I've lost a lot of my footage, so it would entail downloading the videos from YouTube, cutting them all together, and then making another video like that, which um, seems daunting right now. Um, and I don't know how, you know, how I would get it done with, I don't know, such a small, limited space, and who knows. Anyway, I might still do something like that, but for right now, I am going, going to be um, redoing my floors because uh, I used this vinyl tile three years ago and it lasted for a while but um, in the spots where you know I stand the most which is right in the center of the floor it got all cracked and stuff and uh, peeled up and it's just a big hole now in the center of the floor so I'm going to redo that I've got the um, the new flooring in the back of my car let's see here Flooring there. With my solar panels. I'm gonna hook those up too and give them, give my batteries another charge. I haven't been using them in a while, <clears throat> so it look, they look pretty similar, but it feels different. It's not a vinyl floor; it's more of a plank floor. I'm sorry, I'm pointing at it and not filming. Um, so it should be a little more rugged, or you know, last a little longer than these last floors did. All right, and this is what the floors look like currently. So that's what they look like. They're really dirty because I haven't been taking care of them but there's a big hole that cracked and that's where I stand you know the most to cook and stuff like that so um let's replace I gotta take out all of these crates everything that's underneath here and do it the last time hang on let me turn the camera like I mentioned the last time I did this it only took me like 20 minutes uh they were vinyl tiles so it was easier to cut and stuff so we'll see how long this one takes me but it shouldn't take me too long <clears throat> I should be done with it today um, I'm not going to film in there because, you know, it's a very small space and I don't know where to hook up the camera and stuff in order for you to see. I might, let's see if I can figure something out, but I might not make it. Um, I'll just show you the before and the after. <laughs> So like you saw, I had that giant crack in the middle of, of the floor because I was using these vinyl tiles and I'm thinking just the extreme weather changes from like the uh, winter in Pennsylvania to the heat in Nevada, um, just made them, you know, brittle and crack. So uh, this time around, I went with a more expensive uh, brand, 75 bucks for that box of planks. And it turned out that I was two planks short to finish my floor. So I had to go return it and exchange it for a more, less expensive brand, which turns out it's the same brand that I had before. Um, this time it's in teak wood instead of in um, redwood like it was the first time. But I'm probably going to run into the same issues. Um, even though I don't plan on being in winter anytime soon. Or Nevada in the middle of you know, summer. So we'll see how long this time lasts. But um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.